guys and welcome to another inbox review. This time it's of the old Airfix Mosquito. Um, <coughs> Nick this one off my dad just to have a quick look at it for you guys. So yeah, um, 148 scale, 7 series, um, comes with free flying hours probably won't cut them out just for the sake of the kit because as I say it's an old one so um, obviously the box art is just plain and simple just a normal mozzie um, same model kit in all the different languages there so right on that side of the box we have the scale the picture again and obviously saying mosquito airfix and a little bit about it. Um, that side of the box again everything that you'd expect just a picture and everything. Top of the box it has the dimensions of the kit and 127 parts there it says Seems quite a lot to be honest. Um, just general bits, humbrol paints, and then just a bit more like saying it's a mozzie and just all the regular stuff you see on the kit. And that's like, again all the usual. So let's take a look inside. As I say, it's a really old kit, I think it's 92. Yep, 1992. So, yeah, it's really old compared to the new stuff. So, if I throw that over there. First thing we've got, what's this? Flash service, no idea what that's all about. Got, join the Airfix Club. You could even get dog tags for one fly an hour, baseball cap for two, or a watch for four. So these days it would be dog tags for about 10, baseball cap for about 50, and a watch for about 500. Now times have changed, eh? Um, there we go. So we have just the general warnings and stuff. I need to threat about that. Um, and, Humbro and Airfix paint numbers. It's nice that it included the both of them. So, um, start off with the decals. They look quite nice. Well, they would have been nice back in the day, but obviously it's no kit. They've gone a bit iffy, but they should be right. I'm presuming. I don't they let me build it anyway, but I can always hope. So yeah, I've got decals for um four and eight squadron and one four three squadron. So one four three and one four eight. Um one four eight eight blah 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 blah. So if I stick them over there, let's have a look at the instructions. It's a bit different to what you usually see with kits these days. Um, it's a square piece of paper rather than a way for or whatever. Obviously all the bits there. Um, all the stuff you need to know about the mozzie there. And the different languages as always. And the codes for the stuff you might see in the instructions. So, let's go straight in with <coughs> number one. Um, number one shows the seat getting built. Two, what that is. Um, I like the cockpit. Um, Oh right, I see. So that's part of the cockpit and the seat. 
that's the rest of the cockpit and that all joins on to number three um, number four basic putting the pilots and everything five is putting it in the fuselage canopy on guns in tail wheel on <coughs> so um, weird old construction I hate the bunch of my ass so six not entirely sure what that is seven wheels eight main undercarriage, 9 showing the undercarriage complete, 10 the engine slash um, wheel bay and again when then 12 is the prop getting put together, 13 the prop going onto the engines with the wheels going on as well and 14 showing the other side then we have 15 showing the wings going together it's a bit of a weird way they've actually done the inboards underside of the wings separate from the outboard but I have ethics like to do our kits back then and again same on the other side and on the bottom everything else going together so the horizontal stabs, um, so look, exhausts, just general bits and pieces there. Um, <coughs> so there's another two instructions on the back. So we have 18 showing a couple of bombs going on. And number 19 just showing the rest, like the rest of the armament going on. Um, <clears throat> so, the last one to do is number 20, which you have to fold it all the way out. So, we have option A with the proper camo, or option B with the non-proper camo. Option A is, let me just check, 418 City of Edinburgh Squ Squ Squadron, flown by Squadron Leader R.A. Bob Kip in 94, based at Middle Wallop. And option B is 143 Squadron, early 45. Banff Strike Wing. So, um, yeah. obviously, if you look over here, one version has the bombs and the other one doesn't. So that's one of the differences between the two things. Um, there's not much else to say about that, really. Um, yeah, so that's the instructions done and dusted. So I'll pop them over there. Now let's look at the stuff we all want to see. First sprue has the wings, horizontal stabs, um, parts of the rockets, pilots, just general bits like that. Um, fuck it. That bit there might be able to show it on camera a bit better. There you can see the raised detail on the wings. Obviously, the way all kits used to be done. Um, can't quite catch it on the camera really. But there, there's detail back here. Sort of get it. Um, the pilot looks okay. Um, not the most detail I've ever seen in the pilot, but you know, it's 
nice that they've actually included it, unlike Rivaldo. Um, I presume they're the bottom outboard wings. Horizontal stabs just here. Nice bit of texture on them. Again, you can't really see where the light is. Quite bad, especially with these dark evenings. See a bit there. And the other side. So that first brew looks quite nice to be honest. Looking at it now, I can't see any flash really. So, yeah. That's quite. Oh, not meant to do that. That's quite good. So, second sprue. Have first of the engines. One half and the second half. Have the um, undercarriage legs. Um, if here we have nose comb for one of the versions. Don't know if there's two different actual nose cones for it. The wheels have quite nice detail on them, as much as you'd expect from their new kit. So I'd say this kit's well ahead of its time. Looking at it, and this end, you can see. The obviously propeller hubs, um, the other engines there, um, the bombs just there, all the bombs there, knife, yeah, there'd be the props. So, this side, yeah, it's obviously. That's the back plate for the props to go on to. So that goes flat on the table, then you put the props on, then you put them into there. Um, there's no detail on the insides, nothing worth showing you anyway, but just in case you're wanting to see it. So, for the third main sprue, we have the inside inboard wing bits. Again, nice detail, just a shame it's all raised, but as I say, not much you could do about that. Um, exhausts, I thought, um, inboard one. Done to the main, well, one of the main parts of the plane, the fuselage. There it is. Nice detail on it. Um, there you go, got detail on the rudder there. Um, on the bottom, not a great deal. And on the top, again, just the usual bits on both sides. Let's see a second one. Go with all the same detail on it. So that's the um, main sprues done and what I've got left in the box except for broken off bits of sprue is the clear parts. So, there is the main canopy on windscreen. Um, it has um, a bit of distortion, I think. Yeah, actually quite a lot looking at it through there. Um, can't really find anything to show you with um, that do.
so if you look through there you can see it's a bit off but you know okay if it's time it's not too bad nothing to moan about too much <coughs> and I suppose there we have the landing lights I presume but <coughs> yeah that is the entirety of the mozzie um, yeah, it does look like a good kit, so if you see it in a charity shop or something, I'd probably give it a go. Um, I don't know if there's any problems with it. Maybe someone out there has built it who'd like to tell me. But, um, yeah. So, as I say, for every video, thanks for watching. If this is the first video of mine you've seen, like and subscribe um, <clears throat> bring content every week every Friday if it can't be made on a Friday or put out on a Friday then definitely be out for a Saturday but yep I've always got videos going up once a week um, I'd, I'd like to do more, but I'm in the last year of school, so yeah, you can tell how that goes. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.